How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today I'm going to show you the newest light jet to hit the market. Stay tuned. Many of you may remember two years ago when I came to Oshkosh, I stopped here by the Stratos booth and they had that. So if you're not familiar with the Stratos Jet, it is in line with the Cirrus Jet, meaning the same class. It's a single engine jet that's supposed to blow everybody else out of the water with its performance. And just like the Cirrus SF50, the Stratos also has one jet. And I'm hoping this thing makes it to the market because we can use more of them. But let me tell you what's different about the one you're looking at right now, which says 716 compared to that one. So that's the 7410 and you can think of that plane as the prototype, the concept. As a matter of fact, let me get closer to it. So again, if you recall, when we did, of, when I checked this out for the first time last year, you look in this plane, actually, before I get in, you can see on the outside, it's pretty small, okay? It's pretty small and you go in the cabin, you've got only You've got sitting for five, which is not bad. The cabin is actually very wide once you get in. But let me show you what's different. Now, again, put your eyeglasses on if you have to and you see the length of this airplane, okay? Now, if I pan away and I move back to the newest model, the 716, you can see that this plane is much longer. So they added three feet to the fuselage of the plane, but guess what? This plane is actually lighter, 400 pounds lighter than the smaller one. Okay, so this is the 716X, and this is still an experimental airplane. This is a jet, but it is experimental because right now, actually not right now, for years, Stratos has been working on getting this bird certified, okay? And, you know, this is always the wall that every aircraft manufacturer hits is certification. It costs a lot of money, millions of dollars, and it does take time. And the hope is that they're going to build enough of these and use a lot of them for testing. That's part of the whole process is to get people involved and get actual customers and get real life numbers with these planes. And that way they can use that as part of their certification process. Okay. And if I come up here, let me show you the engine. So and here we have the single turbofan engine. Now this is just the air intake. Okay. The engine is actually all the way back here. Actually, let me show you. So just to show you how sick this, the design of this airplane is, you've got a large air intake. The engine mount is from here all the way to here. Okay. And from what they told me, the material that is used for the engine mount is a chrome molly steel tube. And that's because it's the lightest material that you can use for, uh, to pass the FAA certification. What that means, this is part of the weight savings they have on this airplane. Although it's 40% bigger on the inside, it's three feet longer, but they saved 400 pounds uh, in building this new model. But now, let me show you some of the magic. We got some people in there. I'll wait for them to come out. But also from the outside, you can see the design of this airplane with the, with the windows here. But if you give me a minute, I'll get in the inside and I'll show you around. Okay, so to get in the stratus, you've got this one door that comes down and boom, step in. Now, again, keep in mind the previous generation of this aircraft. Now, look at the cabin. <laughs> Jesus Christ you can't I mean it's much longer so much more longer let me sit just to give you a better perspective so you've got look at my legs guys I can stretch all the way and I'm still not touching the seat across from me and Stratos you can have different seating configuration you can have front facing seats or face to face seats like this or if you want the executive seat configuration, you can only have two seats back here and have all of this room with nothing. So depending on the builder or the owner of the aircraft, you have the option for different seating configuration. And I love how they still have sliders 
on the uh, the bottom here, but guess what? You you're not gonna need them. You're not gonna need them because there's just there's so much ample room for your feet uh, when you sit in here. Same here. If I were to sit back here, look at that. Look how far away the seats are from me. And again, you can scroll them back and forth. But guys, look at the ceiling. Look, look how. Let me, let me turn the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this. And you know I've got more hair than most people. <laughs> I've got at least a foot uh, above me. Nice windows back here. They're not the largest, I'll be honest. Uh, but the further you go, the further you go, the windows do get bigger. But the one back here is a bit smaller. But like I said. You're, it's a much bigger cabin and you know what's blowing on me right now some cool air condition so you will have that in this airplane and let me turn the camera back around you look at the roof line here you do have your air vents some lights very simple very simple but let me show you and I'm sure these are pull out tables okay for people sitting back here just all the materials the finishing touches in this airplane really nice but let me show you where the magic happens. The Strato 716X is a single engine pilot plane, so you can fly it with just one person. And your cockpit here is pretty standard. If you look in front of you, some of you are probably already familiar with these avionics here. That's the Garmin G3X Touch. This is the same panel in my airplane. That's to show you how sophisticated the G3X Touch is. You can fly it in a jet. So you've got a dual screen for your G3X Touch. That's a 750, GTN 750 in the middle there. And you can design your panel however you want. The GTN 750 is like the 650 in my airplane. You've got your autopilot here. See what you see here is a single lever. So this is a turbofan engine. You don't need your prop or mixture lever, none of that. And you've got really nice side sticks here. So fits in your hands very nicely rudder pedals down there and you've got some electronic switches and to the side here you've got your circuit breaker same thing on the co-pilot side but actually if you sit in here let's gauge the view of this uh, cockpit real quick so I can tell you right now you've got this block here you've got that block there and then you've got this one here but again until i actually fly this thing or be in the air i can't really tell you how nice the visibility is but just sitting in here i can see pretty much everything outside uh, all the way to behind me here so you should be good with the visibility now i'm gonna step out and share some numbers with you so one thing i didn't mention earlier guys is if you look at the nose of the jet here you've got some baggage uh, that you can put in here you've got a door opening here and you've also got another one on this side now let's talk some numbers I had to step away from everyone just to talk to you about the numbers to get in one of these first there's a wait time and this is not a certified plane just yet as I mentioned before right now they're still building up uh, the project and also getting people to buy in so you can actually buy one of these as an experimental airplane. So you're buying the kit, the same way I did my small airplane, the same thing for this jet. The only difference is the price. So a 716X kit will cost you roughly 2.2, 2.3 million dollars. And then another 200,000 or so to get it built. So think of it as your normal build assist program and so all in you're about 2.5 million dollars for a solid jet like this I mean to me that's a great deal and again the point is they're using that one they need the funding to keep pushing for certification and also to help you know with all the testing and feedback for the uh, project but this is a beautiful jet guys I'm not even gonna lie this is solid and see that same air intake you have on that side you have on this side too so it might seem like you've got two engines but really there's just one engine which is sitting back there now performance numbers this airplane is a true performer you're gonna cruise with six people 380 knots okay that's what you're looking at in cruise your flight ceiling 41,000 feet 41 so 
This puts you in the same category as the Honda Jet, which costs probably, I would say another two to three million dollars more than this. And again, it's a single power jet, okay? So 41,000 feet uh, ceiling, uh, 380 knots in cruise, and I believe you can go up to 400 and some change as your max cruise speed. So 380 is actually your normal cruise uh, in this jet. It's also a pressurized cabin, so again, you can fly it up to uh, up an altitude. In terms of safety feature, uh, I wouldn't say there's anything additional. Say, for example, like you have the parachute in the Cirrus. Um, you also have some uh, some really cool technology in the Cirrus and the Honda, like the Auto Land and all that jazz. I imagine this is these are features they can add in the future. But for right now, they're just trying to get some legs on this thing but guys i think this is a beautiful jet and i really do hope it makes it to market but anyway this is the 716x from stratos beautiful as they come i hope you guys enjoyed the review if you did please give the video a thumbs up if this is your first time be sure to subscribe to the channel a great way to support mojo grip is by becoming an mvp member Go on to mojogrip.net forward slash MVP and sign up there. Or you can become a premium member here. I really appreciate the support, guys. And I will catch you on the next video. Peace.